Welcome to the Gordie Howe Bridges neighbor, the Brighton Beach Generating Station. The need for power to support industry, like the Next Star battery plant and the growing greenhouse industry, pun intended, is bringing forth upgrades to generating power stations and transmission lines in Ontario. My name is Bob Jones. Like, share, and subscribe. It's free and it really does help the channel reach more people. The Brighton Beach Generating Station, a natural gas-fired combined cycle fossil fuel power station, is a vital energy facility located in Windsor, Ontario. It is owned by Atura Power, a subsidiary of Ontario Power Generation, and plays a crucial role in powering the region. The plant draws its cooling water from the Detroit River. and it is connected to the Ontario grid via two 230 kilovolt connections and one 115 kilovolt connection at the adjacent Keith Transfer Station owned by Hydro One Networks Inc. It can contribute 570 megawatts to Ontario's electricity grid to help support the area's energy needs. In addition to its current services, the Brighton Beach Generating Station is undergoing efficiency upgrades to increase its generating capacity by 42.5 megawatts to enhance its operations and meet the growing energy demands. The upgrades will be carried out within the existing building, with no changes to the plant's footprint, being bordered by the Gordie Howe Bridge and the Detroit River doesn't leave much room to expand. The facility's contribution to the power supply for the region is significant and the efficiency upgrades will further strengthen its role in meeting the energy needs of Windsor, Ontario. Upgrades, like the one currently going on at Brighton Beach Power, are happening in power stations across Ontario. The question remains, is it enough?
The readiness of the electrical grid in Southern Ontario to handle pressure from the growing demand, including EV gigafactories, EV auto mandates, greenhouses and steel industries, and the growing population is a topic of concern. Ontario's electricity grid comprises a diverse mix of resources, including hydro, nuclear, natural gas, and renewables. However, there are concerns about the grid's ability to handle increased pressure from the heat waves and the developing demand, as evidenced by past blackouts and the impact of extreme heat on the grid's efficiency. The provincial government announced measures to meet power grid demand, but will it be enough to reinforce the grid is debatable. Could Ontario be entering an energy supply crisis, leading to rising electricity prices and increased emissions from the grid? Maybe. The Bruce Nuclear Generating Station, the Darling Nuclear Generating Station and the Pickering Nuclear Generating Station supply a little over 50% of Ontario's power needs. Ontario will be temporarily without a significant amount of its nuclear energy. These nuclear generating stations need updating and upgrading as these power supplies will not satisfy Ontario's increasing demand unless expanded. Available power during the expansions is significantly reduced. The push for zero emission energy is its own worst enemy. To supply energy to meet EV battery plant needs and other heavy energy using industries is increasing the demand for fossil fuels such as natural gas. The creation and transmission of ample power to keep the lights on is a serious issue. Our neighbor to the Gordie Howe Bridge, Brighton Beach Power, is stepping up to meet the need, as are other power producers across Ontario. The question is, will it be enough? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Bob Jones. And I will see you in the next video.